Hey everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Masaki here. In this video, we will be tackling the first mission after becoming a knight, or the twelfth mission, if you will. Oh well, no, this is the eleventh. My bad. Weapon destruction on Ord Mantle here. So basically, the briefing here is saying that there's been information that has come up. That there's been a large stockpile of old weapons hidden in the wastes of Ord Mantle. We are to go there and destroy these stockpiles so they don't fall into the wrong hands. Records from the Rebellion indicate that there should be seven in total hidden throughout the city. This should be easy. Just plant some charges, watch the fireworks, and come home. What can go wrong? Oh, I don't know. We'll see how, exactly how true that is here shortly. I don't want to ruin anything just yet. Okay, so as you can see, we have... Protection maxed out from the last mission. Mind Trick and Heal, as well as Grip, are up to level 2. Lightning is still at level 1. Now we're going to grab Heal and max that off at level 3 here. Because it is more handy than having Lightning at 2 for the most part. And at level 3, Heal recovers your health a lot faster than rank 2. And the rate still remains the same depending on the difficulty and with the difficulty we're using our heal health actually goes up a lot faster than our than the drop rate of our than the force meter itself does so it actually heals a lot more now than it had been which is really nice now for these missions you're given two no weapons to pick from the stoker concussion rifle now on vajun this is the weapon that those uh, heavy troopers had in the really big suits for the atmosphere and the Mersan PLX 2M portable missile system. Now some of the guys inside of that place on Vajun had these as well. And this is basically, for all intents and purposes, yes, a missile launcher. But we'll be grabbing our standard blast rifle because it's just an all-around handy weapon and be grabbing a concussion rifle instead of the missile launcher. Now we'll be grabbing our thermos as usual, and let's begin. Huh, there's some of the weapons right there. Huh, who's that? Boba Fett! This doesn't concern you, Jedi. Just walk away. Look, I can't do that. <gasps> Holy crap, Boba Fett? Yeah. Can't we talk about this? <laughs> I got a pulp data pad here. Six caches. There's seven yes, but you take out that first one right there. You gotta destroy them all. The map here is an overhead view of the area. The blue thing in the middle is your ship and the waves facing. And each of these red dots are the caches. So you can see there's three on the left side, three on the right side of it. I think we're still heading for the three on the right. Now your ship isn't directly facing that direction, but that's the direction your ship is facing for the most part when you come out of the menu here. So remember that is your reference point when you're crossing over the direction your fist is shaped. The direction the ship is facing is the same as it's facing on here. And just remember to make this go over by a lot faster and quicker, that you have three on each side to take care of. So take care of three on one side, then run through and take care of the three on the other side, so you don't have to run back and forth wondering where the heck the ones you're missing are. And you have Bubba Fett chasing you and shooting at you throughout this whole thing, so you have to be careful of him. Later on, I'll mention all of the weapons he has and the different ways he does the attacks. But basically, he's just going to be flying around and landing and hovering in the air, shooting at you, so you want to be careful to avoid that. Now here's our first cache, and just like in the last mission we did, where we had to place something down, you have a red silhouette showing you where to place it. 
to go over to the silhouette guy and you hit enter or whatever you have for your interact key and he'll set it down and it'll checkpoint just like the last time. And each time you place one you have about a minute or two to leave before it blows up. So there's the first of the three over here. I'll be constantly keeping my sabers on for the purpose of avoiding his attacks. Pick up the crit mines, we'll be jumping over that. There's missile system, here is our second cache. He came in here, so we're gonna wanna run by him quickly. If you swing at him like this, he'll actually damage you as you uh, swing at him right in front of him. And I'm gonna head into speed to get away from him a little faster and avoid his shots more. Because if he hits you square on the head regardless of your health level, you die instantly. Alright, four, so we still have the third one over here. Right there is the flamethrower. That is short range, but it will drain your health really fast if you get hit by it. So if you see that, just stay away from him. This is where you want to come in here for the third and last cache on this side of the map. There are shield boosters and med packs all over the place that you can grab to help you heal, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so you have to come up here, then run to here on this side. And here's our third one over here. You probably only want to actually save the game yourself. If you're really close to death and you haven't recently placed down a charge. Otherwise, this game, as I said, will checkpoint after you place each charge to blow up the caches. Yeah, so now we're going to run here to the ones on the left side of the map and take out these three. There's nothing right there. There's a door right here we'll head into. I think this might just lead to some items that you can grab. Yeah, there's a large booster and a med pack right there. And I think there's either a couple boosters or med packs up here too. Yeah, right there. We have a large booster and a couple med packs again. Okay, Baba, you can leave me alone any time now. Okay, here's the cache. So you're gonna run down here, find the silhouette, hit interact to place the charge, then get out of there before it blows up. Run over here. And there should be another... Oh, there you go. One over here, and into the doors over here, there should be another cache for you. Drop down here, and right over here. It's actually on the other side right there is the fifth cache. And now we only have one stockpile of weapons left. So we run over here to this side of the area. Oh crap, okay, you started using the missile launcher. That can kill you instantly, so be really careful when he's using that. Here's our final cache. Whoa! Okay, that was kind of weird. I'll leave that in there, hope I'm cutting it out. So now our, our inter objective information has changed, so now it says we have to return to our ship. Now you're just going to head back this way, up right there to the left of the door, back to the ship there. There is some med packs and um, boosters there if you need them. So now, oh man, okay, now I actually have to, to fight him for a while and live in order to complete this mission, so this ought to be fun. Now, I will not cut out any depth, and I will not be saving at all in the middle of this fight. This is going to be beginning to end, all deaths are kept in, no cutting, and everything. And again, because your saber powers... 
at level 3. Oh, that's what I forgot to go over. Okay, here. I'll go in here because while you're in this, I can't hit you and I'll go over it. Okay. You can jump 12 times your normal height with your rank 3 jump. Level 3 move lets you move 400% faster than normal. With push 3, you can push multiple enemies with enough force to do damage if you push them into a solid surface or off of a ledge. And you can also use it to break a saber lock. Now pull level 3 will let you pull multiple enemies down, or if they're facing you, you can pull their weapons out of their hands too. Multiple enemies, where at level 2 you can only do one weapon at a time. At throw, when you throw it out, it automatically steers into nearby enemies, so you don't have to control where it's going anymore. And you can still hold it out indefinitely for a short period of time. Defense 3, you have the largest arc, you have the largest area at which you can deflect projectiles back, and the highest deflection speed, as well as your um, per deflection going right back to the enemy instead of in their general direction. And when you're fighting above a threat, that's what you want to mainly do while he's using the blaster. Just keep your sabers on and just deflect the shots back at him. And your offense will allow you to have the chance to break saber locks of enemies of the highest skill. And all enemies that have a weaker skill, you are guaranteed to break the lock against them. And sense will allow you to sense things up for a total of 20 seconds for a long range, and you can even see the health of enemies nearby. Alright, now while we're in this, watch, I'll talk about what we're doing the fight. He's flying up now, and there's one of two things he will do up there. He has about four different weapons. As you saw there, he has the blaster rifle, and he will use that with both fired methods, the rapid fire that you've seen in the single shot. And you've also seen that he has a flamethrower and missiles. Now, the fourth weapon he has is something he'll use while he's up there. And that's what he's using right now, and that is the disruptor rifle. So you want to make sure to run around and avoid that, because if you remember, that does a lot of damage to your health or your shield. And you cannot avoid getting hit by it. He will not deflect it, he will not avoid being shot by it from this angle. I don't quite know how um, auto dodge works. You technically have to be facing them and it has to be in a certain matter for him to do that. Alright, now he's coming back down. Now originally I had to split into two parts and this ended in like three minutes doing nothing but deflecting the, the blaster back at him, so... I wanted this to be a much longer, more epic fight for you to see because it's you versus Bubba Fett. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's micro at least a bit longer than 20 minutes. Oh, there we go, one shot with a concussion rifle and he was down. No bounties on you. A shame. Now you didn't get to see every weapon. Yay, something in common with our Master Kyle. Woohoo! As you can see there at the end, he blocked 84 shots of his, about 70 or so of that was probably actually deflected and hit him. Then he didn't dodge or avoid while flying around. Jumped 11 times getting around. Push. What the heck did we use push for? I have no idea. Um, we used speed three times. We used it once on accident. When we did that really weird move after placing down the final charge to blow up the sixth cache. He used heal once because you we were kind of low and throw. I did show the area below the ship, but I didn't show much of it. There is an ammo dump down there as well as a shell charger and a couple more med packs. And I, but I think that large booster was the only regular booster down there aside the shell charger. So with that we'll hit continue. 
see what else he has to say, and then we'll end off the video. I've been tracing Tavion's movements over the past few months. It looks like she acquired the scepter from a collector on Commoner. Wow, she, she is one him. pretty, um... Vicious little Sith there. Now, if any of you guys are true fans, you'll know that the Sith from the movies and... The Sith from the movies and everything after the movies like this... It's nothing compared to the Sith of the Old Republic before the Empire happened, so... Yeah, those were the true Sith, the really vicious and nasty, powerful Sith. So with that said... This wasn't quite as long as I thought it might have been, and because of the way the, um... Editing it into parts happened... I just decided to do it all in one go. And I will see you all... In the next video. Which will be our 12th mission. And there will be a lot more hard to that, because the only reason this mission was so easy is because you're just sitting there being chased by Boba Fett. There are no enemies otherwise. In all the other four missions, there are plenty of enemies and plenty of challenges. There will most likely be a lot of death, so... Look forward to that. I might even rage a little bit. I will see you all then.